Welcome back. Minister for Education Dr. Gail Rigobert has announced that both students and hundreds of teachers will benefit from the government's distribution of content-ready e-books, laptops, and various e-learning devices. On Friday, the 20th of November, which was observed as World Children's Day, the minister recommitted her government's promise to bridge the digital divide by not just providing students with devices, but offering the requisite training as well as content and curricula that go with those devices to both students and teachers. This is the most opportune moment to say to the children of St. Lucia, we care about you, we love you, and we've listened we've heard, I wish to advise that every child in our education system will over the next weeks and months be equipped with a digital device to allow for effective participation in online learning. Happy International Children's Day. Our gift to you. On Monday, the Minister for Education informed that not only were students being provided with devices, but that over the past several months, teachers from across the island have been trained in ICT and the use of various platforms. Dr. Rigobert says 700 laptops have been distributed to teachers. Telecommunications Partners and the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, NTRC, will work with the Department of Education in bringing connectivity to disadvantaged households. This has come in the form of data packages and MiFi devices that will benefit more than 5,000 households across St. Lucia. The chairman of the National Reparations Committee is adding his voice to the matter. Earl Bousquet is speaking mainly about the response which the article posted to St. Lucia Times has drawn. Many sought to apologize to the tourists named Gary for his treatment whilst on island. Bousquet says this is the typical behavior of a people trained over centuries to be apologists to their former captors. Rochelle Gonzalez reports. Fresh debate and tensions have been raised over the reverence of tourists in St. Lucia by locals, many of whom have been accused of placing said tourists on a pedestal. Speaking on the matter on Wednesday is the chairman of the National Reparations Committee, Earl Busque, who made reference to a viral video of two Floridian tourists walking in Grosile without wearing masks, which sparked anger following the fact that a number of locals have been stopped, charged, and in some cases even arrested by local authorities for the same offense. On Tuesday night, the male tourist seen in the video posted a response to the backlash via an online news source where he explained the reason for not wearing the mask at the time, the reason for his seemingly rude response to the motorist filming him, and his distaste for ever returning to the island following what he claims to be harsh behavior. This statement sparked fresh outrage and division as many responded with apologies to the man who identified himself as Gary for the treatment he received whilst others called the visitor out of order and an entitled whinger. Bousquet firstly gave his views on what transpired. When I saw it, I felt that guy was simply out of place. Um, him and his partner were both out of place for not observing our protocols and daring to be rude to St. Lucians who were only simply asking that they obey the protocols that apply to St. Lucians and which St. Lucians hope also apply to everybody in St. Lucia, including visitors. Busquet referenced the influx of apologies and excuses made to the visitor by locals and St. Lucian officials in response to what he said was a warranted backlash. However, he said no sort of explanation will erase the insult that came of the visitor's response. Those among us who may feel offended by St. Lucians who have offered what we might consider to be undeserved apologies for those of us who complain, obviously have never traveled to American ports, have never found themselves in the positions of black and brown people in 
the so-called developed European and North American societies. Um, it so happens uh, that there are also those who blame the media uh, for blowing the incident out of proportion. There are allegations that the uh, people were safe, they were in the bubble, they were on their yacht, etc. But we're dealing with an invisible enemy, an invisible disease, and how are we to know that they are safe. The NRC chairman said St. Lucians need to stop bowing down to tourism within the context of seeing locals as inferior, which then leads to them being apologetic to visitors who misbehave and disrespect the official protocols of the land. He said, on the other hand, there is a reason for this inferiority complex. The uh, manual and mental and psychological transfer of trauma uh, that has accompanied the history of development of the descendants of slaves, whereby we see ourselves inferior. Part and parcel of all of that has to do with the reparations message, and this has to do with the need for psychological rehabilitation uh, of our people across uh, the world. Busque maintains that the man who recorded and questioned the tourists was well within his rights to do so and that it was the responsible thing to do. He said the visitors should count their blessings that they did not encounter a more aggressive concerned citizen who would not have accepted the rude response in such a passive manner. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Rochelle Gonzalez. On the other hand, social activist Aaron Alexander is asking St. Lucians to not lose focus on the unity that is needed in society during these trying times by allowing themselves to be divided by racial tensions. That seems to be causing us to turn on each other, you know, some for, some against, all sort of nasty comments we throw at each other in one direction or the other. That, that, that's not time for that kind of nonsense, you know. People protocols are protocols and... You know, we just have to ensure that we let the protocols work. Follow the protocols. Black, white, Chinese, Indian, it really don't matter. Look, the government is trying to institute um, protocol wardens or COVID wardens, how, however you want to put it. Right? So it could have be a warden, same way, stop the guests, stop the person, stop the, the tourist or the white man or the black man or the Chinese man or the Indian man, regardless of skin color or race or color of eyes, etc. It could be a COVID warden could have stopped the person, same way, asked them for the mask. You know, let's be vigilant, my people. And the, the brother did nothing wrong in asking the tourists or the, or the white man or it could have been a Chinese or Indian, whoever it could have been. The brother did nothing wrong in doing that. We have to be each other's people. You're watching the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us. There's more coming up after the break.